In this video, I'm going to show you a simple trick that will allow you to build a visualization inside of your access query similar to that of the Incel charting functionality you get in Excel. Uh, in this particular case, I have a query that shows revenue by market and the percentage of that revenue distribution. And then you see a little visualization here, a bar chart that will uh, kind of represent those uh, percentages of distribution. And so as I sort ascending or descending, the chart kind of keeps up with it. And that's because uh, this visualization is actually built inside of this query. So let me show you how I did it. I'll start off with a base query here and I don't want to get too deep into what this query does but it essentially gives me market revenue and percentage of revenue and so if I run this query you'll see it's essentially a query that will give me three columns and what I want to do here is add another column uh, called bar that will hold my visualization. So as I go into the design view I'll go ahead and add in uh, a column called bar using an alias here and then I'll fill it with something. Now my secret weapon here is the string function. It's an axis function that essentially repeats any character you want repeated a certain number of times. So I will type in string and then the number of times I want something repeated and then the thing I want repeated. So the string function has two arguments. The number of times you want something repeated and the character you want repeated. So in this case I'm going to repeat the letter S ten times. If I run this You'll notice here that S is repeated ten times. Okay, not a big deal, not really, not not really useful on its own. And so what I'll do here is to show you that you can type in other things. So for example, I'll type in this pipe character, and the pipe character is the character above the backslash. So if you hit Shift backslash, you'll get the pipe character. And if I run this, you'll see something that looks similar to a bar, and it, it gives you some sort of a visualization. Now let's stick with this for a second here, and talk to a little bit about the numbering here. So obviously this is a pipe character repeated 10 times. You don't necessarily want to hard code 10, because that's not going to make sense. You want to actually uh, have come up with a number. So typically when you do these kinds of things, that number is going to be calculated. Well the good thing is I already have calculated the uh, percent column, and I did it by using some of of revenue divided by the D sum of revenue and this is not the video to talk about that I have another video to talk about D sum the point here is I've got a percent column that will help in this calculation so instead of typing in 10 I can reference the percent column that I've created and then I can say times 30 let's just say or let's make it 50 so what we're essentially doing here is where you're going to use the percentage of revenue to customize each line to show a custom number of bars based on that percentage. So instead of hard coding 50 here, we're going to take 50 and we're going to multiply it by the percent of revenue for that particular line. So if there's a line that has 25% as a percentage of revenue, you take 25% and you multiply it by 50, that'll give you about 12.5 bars and it'll be different for every line so instead of confusing you more with numbers here let me change this to expression so this thing will run uh, I'll go ahead and run it to see what happens so now you see here that for every line I, ha I show a different number of bars based on the percentage of revenue times 50 now if I wanted to show more bars uh, I will show for example percentage of re revenue times 100 if I click on that it'll actually show more bars so any given line is going to have a maximum amount of bars of, of 100 basically saying no line can have more than 100 bars because that's the limit but in this case we're going to take the percentage of revenue and multiply it by 100 that way each line has a different uh, number of bars okay so the slight twist here is that these pipe characters here are although they look similar to a bar chart they don't, they don't exactly have the solid bar look that we're looking for at least not the, bar, not the look that we saw at the beginning of this video so in order to get that kind of look, the solid bar look, you're going to have to actually use a symbol. And those symbols are similar to the kind that you'll see in Word and Excel when you insert a symbol. And I'll show you how to get those uh, into an access query here. Uh, let's go to design view and I want to kind of demonstrate something. I'm going to go ahead and add another column called the char column here. And I'll use a char function uh, to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. The char function will bring back a particular character based on a character code. So the char function brings back ASCII character code. So if I type in char96 and I run this, along with my stuff that I've already put in here, I'll call up a particular character. And apparently this character is a apostrophe. If I type up uh, char114, it'll call up a different character, the letter R. So instead of char, which brings back the ASCII codes, you can actually use CHRW, which actually brings back 
um, Unicode characters. So Unicode characters, for example, let's say 9000, will bring up Unicode character codes. Now these are typically symbols. Now there are also other characters, but for the most part, you'll actually use these character codes to kind of call up symbols. So instead of using CHR, I can use CHRW and I can bring back certain codes. Now I know for a fact that a character code of 9068 will actually give me a solid bar. I think it's 9608 will actually give me a solid bar. So again, that character code here is 9608. This is a Unicode character code basically called up by the CHRW function. Now, the idea is instead of actually typing in the pipe character, we're actually going to replace the pipe character with CHRW9608. Uh, now I can go ahead and get rid of this column here. So, string which is a string function repeats a certain character a certain number of times that number of times is a calculation that's based on percentage of revenue times 100 in this case and then a character that character is instead of being manually typed in we're actually calling it up from a character uh, Unicode character uh, function called CHRW 9608 is the code for the solid bar and if we hit run you actually get the solid bars so on the surface, this particular technique may seem interesting and nothing more, but if you step back and think about it, it really can become the cornerstone or the first stepping stone to what I would consider a dashboarding in access. So in this particular case, I have a small visualization, but it can be pretty powerful because a query can be embedded in a form, it can be embedded in a report, subform, subreports, and so you can actually have little squares in your report that represent blocks of queries that actually have these visualizations on them. So if you can do something like a simple uh, formatting so there's no grid lines and maybe even shrink this down a little bit, uh, you can actually show this particular query, obviously the uh, titles can change a little bit, but actually show this particular query in a subform or a form or a report that actually has some sort of a visualization without the overhead of charts or pivot charts or uh, so on and so forth. So in my view it's definitely worth playing with.